Here is a question statement. You are given a graph and use an algorithm that can find the shortest path between any two nodes. Now you have to find the second shortest path between the same two nodes. We assume the graph has weight and an adjacency matrix represents the graph. The value in the cell is the weight of the edge. If there is no direct connection between two nodes, the value is zero. Today, we will apply Dextra in adjacency matrix to find the shortest path and the second shortest path. Dextra algorithm, it can be summarized to the following steps. To demonstrate each step how distance is calculated, we will walk through an example. In this graph, we will find the shortest path from 2 to 4. Initially, the distance table will look like this. The first column is all vertices in the graph. The second column is the smallest distance from vertex 2 to this vertex. The value is 0 to itself. Others are max value at the beginning. In the first step, we update all values if there is edge between 2 and the vertex. Now, we select the smallest distance among them, which is 5. The vertex is 1. The next step will use vertex 1 to reach other vertices. After execution, we can update the table to the new values. We update the third column with 1 if we can get a smaller value through vertex 1 to that vertex. Since all vertices have been reached, we can conclude the result. From source vertex 2 to destination 4, the shortest distance is 6. To find the second shortest distance, the idea is to remove each edge in the shortest path. Call Dextra again. The smallest value will be the second shortest distance. It is 8 in our case. Now let's look at the code. At the top, we define class variables. Next is a function that implements Dextra. It is worth mentioning shortest stores shortest distance from source vertex to all vertices. The parents save the previous vertex that's in the shortest path. After initialization, we will go through each vertex and find the smallest distance. Save the vertex associated with it. We are going to use this vertex as a source vertex to calculate the distance to other vertices. If the total distance is smaller than what's stored in the shortest array, we update the values in the shortest and the parents. At the end of the function, we add the shortest distance to the return set. We also call add pass. Add pass is a recursion function to add vertices in the shortest path by using the parents array. This path will be used for find second shortest distance. Inside the find second shortest function, we loop through each vertex in the shortest path. We get the pair of source and distance. After saving the value for future restore, we remove the edge between source and distance by setting that value to be zero. Then call shortest path to recalculate. When all vertices in the path have been executed, the second shortest distance will be found and saved to the return set. In the main function, we define an adjacent matrix, the source and the destination, then call shortest path and find second shortest. Now we print the result. Let's run the code. The shortest distance is 6. The second shortest distance is 8. From the previous walkthrough, we know it is correct. The time complexity of shortest path using Dextra is O n square. The space complexity is O n in addition to the original matrix space. To get the second shortest path, we have another loop. The time complexity is O n cubed. Space complexity is still O n. That's it for find the shortest and the second shortest path using Dextra. Please leave your comment below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.